Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. So last time, we, uh, the mystery on the train deepened even further, as several things have been stolen now, and somebody's planning on blowing the train up with a sticky, yummy explosion. We gotta find out who it is. Hey, morning Mario, have you been to the dining car yet today? I still can't believe I stole that pot of stew, it was like a bad chowdery nightmare. Thanks to that incident, the cook and I are pals now! Isn't life weird? That is weird. He must have been very flattered that he's like, oh, This food is so delicious, I want all of it. <laughs> hello, Toodles. Well, hello there, you cute cuddly bear of a man, you. You're delightful, dear. Have you found my gold green? Don't grow desperate now, I'm quite sure you'll be able to find it. And we get a vital paper! This looks like something very important and complicated. Oh, the Zip Toad's not in today, I guess. Oh, he's gotta be somewhere. <laughs> also, I love this music. <laughs> Good morning to you, sir. Did you sleep well? We will be making a stop at Riverside Station today. You'll love it, I assure you. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. It's probably my least favorite dungeon in the game, but it's still interesting, and it is a beautiful place. Hope that nobody's like, oh, you always use Goombella. Like, what the heck? I I Goombella's my favorite, what can I say? Alright, so I think Pennington is still in his cabin. Let's show him the paper. Have you stumbled upon any new clues? Vital paper. What is this paper, hmm? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? Heck! That's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal! What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. Luigi, where did you find this very important clue? Cabin 1, you say? Yes, Zip Toad's room, a place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he is hiding somewhere on the train, always one step ahead. Very well, my dear Luigi, find that Zip Toad. Okay. Well, he's gotta be hiding somewhere. Maybe he's hiding in his own cabin? I don't think he'd be hiding in the ghost's cabin. By the way, how did we get cabin number five? I thought it was like, the higher up you are, the lower your number is. So Mario... Well, Mario is an international celebrity, so may maybe. Well, let's see if we can make Zip Toad come out. Well, maybe he's not here. There's several postcards and glossies featuring Zip Toad inside. He is rather vain. Hmm, where else could he be hiding? Oh, hey. Could this be another clue? Another document from the briefcase! The suspect must be in here somewhere. Oh. Hiding in my room, eh? Oh ho! Zow! Where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy! <laughs> Take that. Youch! So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. All the while pilfering fiends from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, 
Yes, this was all just as I had deduced. I knew all along you were a fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. And not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened Luigi. Curses! I almost got away with it by getting off at Riverside Station 2. Yes, you played a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, fiend, and the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. <clears throat> well, yes, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Fink. Blah. We get a briefcase! A heavy briefcase with nitro honey syrup specs inside. And we get a gold ring! The ring Tootle's lost. It looks quite expensive. And we get a shell earrings! Earrings lost by the waitress. They remind her of her ex. Ah! My precious briefcase! Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Here you go. The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you! Thank the stars it's safe! Now I won't get the sack! Our rendezvous with disaster was diffused by my most rudimentary of deductions. Yeah, whatever. Bean bomb, bean bomb. Attention all passengers, this train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. Well, it appears the waitress and her ex must have had an amicable, bre amicable breakup if she's like, I need those memories. So that's good. This is Riverside Station. I love the sunset uh, landscape. Looks something right out of a painting, which is pretty cool. Hey, I think not, Slick! You think you can hold me? No way! Beldum would flip if I let that happen! Guess who? This whole zip toad thing was just a means to an end! It's me, suckers! Dupless! Beldum's plan to ghoulify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to Beldum. See ya, suckers! Oh, so he's working with the Shadow Sirens now. Alright, we're gonna need to go back to Goombella. Also, I looked it up. First attack badge, you don't buy it from the peddler, you buy it from the actual badge shop above uh, Zesty's Diner. And you can buy it after World 2! So I'm all, I can't believe it hasn't appeared yet. I must just be getting unlucky. Welcome, one and all, to Riverside Station. It's so super cool looking! I want to drive it! Right now! So little Bob really likes trains, does he? Where does one buy a train? <laughs> oh no! What do we do? Someone's lifted the drawbridge! The train can't leave the station like this! I saw a suspicious looking shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. He must have gone down to the bridge control room to flip the switch there. But that switch hasn't been used in so long, I don't know where the control room is. So, um, it's probably against protocol to ask a passenger to do this, but... Since you are the famous Mario and all, could you go find and throw that switch? Maybe? Sure thing. Really? That would be super. Well, here's the station key. We get the station key, the key that opens the entrance to the station. Oh, thank you so much! I've been cooped up in there, breathing stale air too long. I wanted to go out and take a walk so I could build up an appetite for dinner. It's good to exercise to get off the weight. Good for you. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, our fake suspect was not only a fake zip toad. He was some monstrous being in a white sheet, which was exactly as I suspected. Too bad he gave us the slip like that, though. He was a rather slippery sort. We could have questioned him all about all of that Belden business. This is Riverside Station. We've stopped to refuel. There's a quaint drawbridge here from when pleasure boats cruised the canal. But it has been used since the canal was dried up and turned to pasture. Don't say. And stop acting like you're a genius, Pennington. You're not that smart. No offense. So there's a badge up there, but there's nothing we can do to get it down just yet. The bridge switch is down there. Remember to always return the control room key to the office. There's a hole here for the elevator key. But you don't have the elevator key. Oh, okay. Well, let's go find it. So this is the dungeon of World 6, essentially. Riverside Station. I'm not a huge fan, because mainly because it doesn't have any music here at all. 
It's locked. You can't open it. Also, the enemies are kind of annoying. So we can roll under here. And kablam! That's cool. What badges do I have equipped? Okay, I do have Spike Shield equipped. That's the one I really wanted. <laughs> I do like that old rickety sound effect. Oh, hi! Yeah, you remember the Dark Puffs from Boggly Woods? This is the tougher version. These are rough puffs. You remember these from the first Paper Mario, right? They're a bit easier than this. This is a rough puff. Don't confuse them with dark puffs. Although I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them. But anyway, max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 0. They swoop at you or charge themselves with electricity to before unleashing lightning. Oh, and if you touch them while they're charged, you'll get a shock! Yeah, so they, they had 10 HP in the first Paper Mario, and now they only have 7 in this one. Oh, and neither of them charged up with electricity. That's very nice. And perhaps this will be the world where I use some of my health-fulfilling items. Ooh, they give generous amounts of star points. Thank you. Oh, hi. <laughs> nice moon-jumping Mario. <laughs> Fun I do have a Thunderbolt, <laughs> but except these guys are electric, so that wouldn't actually be all that good. Thank you! Okay, so he's electric, so I gotta use my hammer on him. Nice! Level up! Gotta go with the BP. Well, now that we got more BP, I can equip some of the badges I wanted to equip. Uh, we'll start with Hammer Throw, and then we'll do Multi-Bounce. Charge. That looks... Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good for badges. So this is where the dungeon gets a bit irritating. You've got some actual platforming puzzles you got to get through. Ooh, looks like I got for that one. Then we can just tube under here. And there's a star piece back there. That's the only star piece at Riverside Station as well, so no need to worry about that. Then we can just kind of jump on all these moving uh, pieces. Actually, not Yoshi. We're going to use Coops for this. Thanks, Coops. Well, now that we got the Riverside key, we can go back here and use it on this lock. I'm sorry, the station key. I think there might be an invisible block around here somewhere. Oh, yep. We remember poison pokies. Fought them in the pit of a hundred trials. Yeah. 
this is why I put the spike shield, or at least one of the reasons. Alright, Koops. Power shell him. Quick change is very useful. Alright, I'm going to use my Thunder Rage here. Because honestly, I need to use some of these items. And Thunder Rages don't affect the rough buffs, so gotta use them somehow. Okay, yeah, this block, if you jump up here... Oh, look! Another Thunder Rage! How wonderful. Oh, also, to the keen-eyed observer, if you go back here, you can see there's a little slot in this bottom step. We can go down here and get an HP Plus badge. If you don't want it, you can sell it at the badge shop for, like, over 100 coins, which is really cool. But I think it's always nice to have a spare HP Plus badge. Especially if you upgrade BP pretty much exclusively. Shine Sprite there, pretty simple. Hi, you. Alright, Koops is not very powerful, so we'll get out the big bombs. Nice going, Bobby. Make sure you try to do the action guard there. Because if you don't successfully do the action guard, then you can get poisoned. Which is not very nice for anybody. I'm so stoked to get the next Crystal Star, it's, it's power is probably the best. Or at least up there. Should have saved my art attack. That's okay. I'll show off the bomb blast. Attack all enemies with a massive blast. This takes a whole lot of FP, but it's so cool. We got to repeatedly tap A just like we did with Bombette, and <laughs> yeah, that's a really good special move. They're not special move, but. Actually, yeah, partner special move. It's pretty cool. So you'll notice that it seems to lead to a dead end. However, there are a bunch of posters in our way. It takes a while to blow them away with Flurry. Either that or the game just lags. And there we go. We've got a door. This is the real reason I equipped the Spike Shield Badge. We remember how annoying these guys were in the Pit of 100 Trials? They're pretty easy now. Because if you if you don't have the Spike Shield Badge, or you don't want have, like, have it equipped at least, you pretty much need to use special moves against these guys.
Ooh, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna multi-bounce. Followed by an earthquake. Nice! Just enough to finish them all off. And keep in mind, every time I use one of these items, I am getting coins from refund. It just doesn't show them off like it did in the original. Let's see. Oh, that's right. This is the tube maze. I forget exactly how to do this. That was not how to do it. Well, <laughs> let's fight these guys. Fun, fun, fun. Hmm. I'm gonna have Goombella use a Mr. Softener. I've got two of them. So that lowers their defenses by three. So... If we try multi-bouncing... Oh. Okay, only use Mr. Softeners on characters who actually have defense, because you can't have negative defense. I actually could probably use an FP refill pretty soon. Bye! That is clearly what Pirate Jinx spelled. Well, it's a good thing that that uh, was a dud. Oh, I really could have used that! No! Nice try. Mr. Softener could be good against the Buzzy Beetles, I suppose. But look at all those coins I'm getting. Mmm, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try finally showing off Ms. Mouse's Kiss Thief ability. Never mind! I always try her Kiss Thief ability on enemies who I can't use that on. Oh yeah? We'll take this, you stupid x knots Get out of my audience. Oh, look at all that money. That's what I'm talking about. I can't remember if there's a badge in this maze. I feel like there is. And that brings us all the way back up here. So let's try... If we fall down here, maybe? Yeah! We get the P up, D down badge. Boosts Mario's attack by one, but drops his defense by one. I knew there was a badge in there waiting for me somewhere. Darn it, that was the wrong way. It keeps putting me in a dumpster. That's not nice. Well, let's just try going to the left then, shall we? And, well, that makes things a bit more annoying. This is the way you climb back up, not the way you go down. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Tube controls, kind of bad at times. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the tube courses. That's another reason why I don't really like... <laughs> 
That was worth it. That's another reason I'm not a huge fan of Riverside Station. It's a lot of tubing around. Here, Coops, you use our hover, Mr. Softener. Yeah, you heard the coin sound effect? That was me getting my refund. Nice! Oh, I don't have the FP to do that. Oh, then let's just use a Thunder Rage. Okay, this is where the experience is at. All them star points. I'm, I'm not going down there just for one coin. Sorry! So there's a key up there. And you might think that there's a way to get back there right now, but... There actually is not. And yes, that's a Goomba. We're still fighting Goombas in World 6. Alright, I need to improve my FP. So... Electro Pop. Oh, and it makes you electrified. I actually never knew that. Maybe I should have saved that Electro Pop. This is where first attack would come in handy. throwing at me. I couldn't see the bulky bomb was in the way. Mario, here's a dried shroom. That'll, this'll give me, like, one free coin at least. Because you gotta, in order for a refund to work, you've gotta actually use the items in battle. Man, I thought I wasn't gonna get enough, like, any money this trip, but actually I've been getting more money than I was at getting a kill hall key. All right, I've got a mistake in here. <laughs> Honestly, more more than the coins, I'm just using that to free up some inventory space. Because when we actually get to Pasha Heights, there's some shopping I want to do. And yeah, you do actually have to kill the Goombas. And these open up. One. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make some nice stairs for us to go up. Also, there's a shine sprite up there. With the help of Coops, you can get that. We get the Ultra Boots! Hi, it's me again, Toadette! It's nice to see you again! Way to get the Ultra Boots! Now your jump attack power will go way, way up! And you can use a new jump technique, too! Let's practice it right now! It's a little hard, but I know you'll get it! Just hold down A and rotate the control stick to make your body fold up. Then release A to do a giant spring jump! Remember, though, you'll need to rotate a lot before you release A, okay? Hold down A and rotate control stick, then release A. The spring jump can help you reach new areas, since you can grab pipes above you. Move le the control stick left or right to move along the pipe, and press B to let go of a pipe. Wow! Way to go, Mario! That was very well done! Want to try it again? No, I've got it. Okay, now you've mastered the screen jump! You can grab pipes on the ceiling now, so I'm sure you'll access lots of new areas. 
the Spring Jump also lets you attack blocks and other things in high places. Oh yeah, you can use the Spring Jump in battle too! See? So, uh, see you next time, I guess, and good luck on your quest! Yep, that's the power of the Ultra Jump. So, this little, these oil drips on the floor are good height indicators to know where to use uh, the Ultra Jump. To reach the pipes! You've probably seen these around the Rogueport sewers as well. And this is where we're getting the key. When in doubt, just do the spring jump right next to the wall. More often than not, that's where the pipe is. Ah oh yeah, so the key's up there, you might be wondering, how the heck do I get up there? You actually can't get up there. Instead, what you do is spring jump into it and knock the key off. Remember that, that's one of the most useful parts about the spring jump. And we get the elevator key! A key that operates the elevator in the station. You gotta stand still while jumping in order to charge up for the ultra jump. <laughs> Vio, she's like, hey Mario, dude, wait up! Sorry, Sid. Boing! And now we just get to backtrack back to the elevator area. Because we killed all the enemies in the pathway, this should not take too long. So before we go into the elevator area, you'll remember there was the badge up here. Well, this is how we get it. Ultra Jump! And we get the close call P badge when your ally's in danger, causes foes to sometimes miss. Not amazing, but I mean, you might as well get it. Elevator key? You use the elevator key. <laughs> All aboard Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Seriously, this whole area could be in Frontierland in Disney World. Oh, what are the heck are these things? Whoa, Mario! What are these things doing here? They're disgusting! Do you think these gross things flip the switch? Let's hurry up and find it so we can switch it back! Out of the way. Get out of here. Jeez, those things are like fuzzies, but even weirder. That is clearly how physics work. It is paper, though. <laughs> He's like, I instinctively know something's about to happen. Nice. Back to the main floor. It says to put the elevator key back in the office, but let's be honest, you need super paper powers in order to get to that office, so let's just leave it in the elevator, shall we? Alright, I've had enough of this place, so let's get back on the train. So that was the dungeon. Nah, it's not worth using the health fulfilling thing here, because we're about to sweep on the train anyways. Hey, thanks a lot, Mario! Now we'll get you guys rolling. This day's just passing you on by! Hurry up all aboard, everybody! Have a good trip! Oh, is he just stuck here at Riverside Station? Oh, I got an email. Hang on, <laughs> let me check my text messages. King K, sup, dog? Yo, G-Money, it's me, King K, your homie from the Glitz Pit. I know you remember me, dog. How you doing? What, you off KO and fools left to right somewhere else? I'm still living large in the minor league, but I'm keeping busy. You know how it is. I gotta thank you again for convincing me to stay, dog. You fired me up good. So, are we ever gonna chill again or what? Or are we just gonna meet in the ring? Careful, dog. Next time you up in front of King K, I'm gonna be way, 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 way better. Keep it real. King K. Hang on. Was that... Did I get two emails? 
Nope. Okay. I had that one before. Oh, board! I can still give the girl her shell earrings back, right? Let's go! Because I kind of want to give Toodles her ring and the girl her shell earrings tonight. Because I'm not sure if I have the chance to do it tomorrow. Because tomorrow's a very short day. Bean bong, bean bong! Attention all passengers, thank you for riding the XS Express. Our next stop is our last, Poshley Heights. Yoo-hoo, Toad Waitress. Yes, good, she's here. Oh, did you find them, my shell earrings? Yep. Oh, there they are, there you are, my earrings. Thank you so much. Hey, and before I forget, take this as my thanks. We get a star piece. You are like the nicest old mustached overall wearing guy I've ever met. Okay, okay, later. Alright, Toodle should not be asleep yet. Yay, good. Have you found my gold ring, you mystery sniffing master? Yep. Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I know you would find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. We get 30 coins! And do take care. Nice! I am rich! I'm gonna get even more rich at the end of this chapter, because after we beat chapter 6 and go back to Town, I believe Lumpy will have come back from his Dry Dry Desert exhibition. And he'll give us, like, a ton of money. Because we helped <laughs> kickstart it. So tomorrow is finally Poshley Heights, is it? Phew! I hate waiting! We've got to get that crystal star before those other guys, no matter what. So let's rest up so we can be ready for tomorrow, okay? So before I call it a night, hang on. Alright, i got to arrange my badges. I don't need hammer throw anymore. I also don't need Spike Shield. So I have four free BP to do with what I want. Flower Saver P could be really nice. Do I have two Close Call P badges? I do! I guess I can sell one of those. Hmm. I mean, Quake Hammer could be nice, but nah. I'll put on Flower Saver P. Because I have a feeling Mario's partners are going to be using quite a bit of FP for the boss fight. Alright, let's all go to sleep. Train voyage, day free. Ah, a new day! And it's such a totally cool and brisk morning! I just realized all of my partners are sharing one bed. That's a little weird. Okay, good. Sleeping does heal all of your partners, not just your active one. Alright, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be finishing up Chapter 6 and probably doing the Peach and Bowser parts as well. Look forward to that. Hope to see you there. Have a great day, and of course, God bless.